boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Today we will be discussing what is on my mannequin, a recent cop, and um, just a few upcoming things. <laughs> so anyway, hope everybody having a great weekend. You know, um, it's summertime. Um, so me and uh, Pink, for any of those who follow me on IG, know that me and Pink be having conversations about Ralph Lauren. <clears throat> we was actually thinking about um, coming up with a, a nice concept for the summertime. Um, and we, her and I still got to get together and talk about it. Hopefully, whenever she gets back, we'll talk about it. But it's just, you know, just an upcoming thing for this summer. So, let's talk about what's on my mannequin. I haven't did it yet, to, but I just threw together something. This is a rugby um, varsity jacket. As you can tell, it has four patches on the front and the big R on the side for rugby. Um, anybody who knows me and also the iconic Indian head patch on the side. Let's get a picture real quick. Iconic and those who know, you know. But anyway, let's talk about this particular jacket. This particular jacket has been on my grill list like for the last 15 years and I I copped it. Um, you know, I showed it, but I haven't went over in detail about this particular jacket. The cut on it is a 2XL, which is hard to find. And um, anybody who knows anything about rugby knows this is a, the, the iconic <laughs> piece to have as far as rugby. Um, so, yeah, this particular piece came from Europe, um, and I had to wheel and deal to get it, so I understand that. It wasn't a cheap piece, and I'm probably going to get buried in it, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's talk about some of the patches. On the, on the um, right hand side, you see City Champs, 1939, RF, Ralph Lauren, Rugby Champion Football League, Champions, 1940, New York. So it, the iconic patches on the side of this is like very, very dope. And the R on the side of it, on the bottom, 19, well, uh, 938 with the R. It's a very detailed jacket. The only thing I wish that um, they did to this particular piece is to have the big Indian head patch on the back of it would have been, wow, it had been great. But you know what? It's already perfect. So when I copped it, I already knew what I was getting myself into and I was excited. So anybody who knows me and knows anything about my grail list, I have three out of five now gonna be four because of the simple fact the indian head didn't come in double xl that killed me it only went to xl and from what they're going for right now oof, i got other things i gotta take care of rather than <laughs> rather than purchasing something that cost a lot of money um i want to say i have a friend you know he uh i think he sold his for like 2500 for a sweater understand that that's for a sweater iconic piece i get it but 2500 with with tags so it was brand new so you're looking at a using between uh, eight to 1200 just depends on the person and how desperate they need of the money if that's something that you are looking for just to put that information out there um underneath this rugby is a polo sport embroidered with the 1967 on it and you know the light it looks sort of faded but this is a vintage piece both of them are vintage pieces you got to understand once you buy vintage you got to be willing to accept the condition of the item whenever you get it and hopefully the person takes took care of it you know whenever you get it you can you can go through it you can look up and down and make sure everything is all right you know I'm in a rugby game, so is a uh, bro. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be commenting on, on this piece for sure. Um, but yeah, the rugby, just the rugby line period is like iconic. I believe every if if everybody knew 
how iconic that line was going to be, it would probably still be around. But the materials right now is, uh, it's like scarce. So rugby, rugby is like a high quality item as far as the, the textures and the ruggedness of the material that people use for rugby items or what Ralph used. Let me get that straight. So, yeah. So, um, that's what I got going on. You know, I was preaching positivity on our channel. So, you know, that's what you got to do. Also, I'm thinking about it because I haven't did it. Anybody knows about me and my bros, you know, Ralphie's kids. Yeah. Must read, must cop. Um, yeah, very interesting read. If anybody know anything about the lows and the bros, you know, this book is a must have. It's another book out there too that I talked about earlier in my YouTube um, career, if I will say. <laughs> I ain't making no money yet. Like I said, I'm doing all this for fun. Um, but yeah, very interesting read. And I'm just putting it out there. You know, I'm always going to be supportive of my bros. So yeah, the book is called Rappy Kids. They have it on Amazon. So go check that out. Um, so let's talk about a cop. I haven't been copping here lately. I've been notice I've been noticing a lot of stuff going on on um, Posh is a wasteland, somewhat wasteland. You might find some type of, you know, decent pieces on there, but you got to be the first to see it. And once you see, it, you might you need to jump on it right then because whenever you go back to look at that particular item, it might be gone already. So let's talk about my cop, and I got it off of Posh. So. Boom. Another rugby piece. Matter of fact, this might be the shirt to go with this particular jacket. <laughs> but this is a rugby item that I got off Poshmark for a hot 35 bucks. Hot. Um, blue label rugby. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. But it has the R on the side. This is an iconic uh, short sleeve shirt that, made, that was made by Rugby. Of course, you see the colors. The iconic colors of Rugby are always going to be yellow and blue. So, yeah, very iconic. And it said Inner, Inner City Champions Football 1957. Very detailed. Like I said before, let me open this thing up. It's that crazy. But, yeah. As you can tell, the R on the side is embroidered. It's not no patch. Uh, it's a patch, but it's not no sticker or nothing like that. Very, um, I was very surprised that somebody let this particular piece go at 35 bucks, considering the fact that they probably would have put it on eBay and probably got it for 125 easy, you know, but it is what it is, you know. We don't know people's circumstances, they don't know mine. So we just keep it like that. But, um, yeah, I, I still been, you know, Dibbling, dabbling, Ralph. Of course, I'm always going to dibble and dab in it. But at the same time, I'm noticing it's hard to come by some Ralph pieces. Um, me and a fellow low, um, Zoe, I'm going to give you a shout out. He and I talked about it on uh, IG, and he wants to get in the varsity game. <sighs> How can I put this? Double XL pieces as far as varsities. You might want to get your, your your wallet ready because on a true, true, true varsity, you're going to end up spending anywhere between low end $650, high end $3,000. Could be, depending on the piece. I understand if you go double RL, route flooring, blue label, rugby, um, black label, no, no, not black label, purple label, or uh, polo country, or you go double RL. Top tier line is always going to be, to me, it's going to be purple label. Then it trickles down to a blue label. Blue label is going to be somewhere on the bottom of the totem pole. And the only reason why I say that is because majority of Ralph pieces are going to be blue label. So, you know. When it comes down to varsity coats, double RL is going to be uh, up on the purple label. 
I haven't, I don't own any purple label pieces. Don't really care to own any purple label pieces. I'm good right where I'm at. Um, I have a few varsities. I got written of a lot of my jackets and coats to acquire um, varsity jackets. I just feel like it's an iconic piece as far as Ralph and his um, legacy, as far as his designs. So that's just my own personal opinion. Um, also, Ralph is dropping jackets. Are they varsity jackets? Eh, somewhat not really. And the only reason why I say it is because he has the um, green corduroy um, with the rodeo guy on the back of it. That's if if I had to grade it, I'd grade it at a ten. That jacket is superb. And also, he has another jacket, blue and yellow. I will say it's sort of kind of like it's a it is a varsity coat, but I believe you're trying to mimic the um, rugby jacket in a way because they do have a yellow R on the side, but it's like a lighter blue and also it don't have leather sleeves. Very detailed. I'm going to be honest, it's very detailed, but it's not a rugby. So it's, you know, and you paying 800 off back off the Ralph Lauren site for that particular piece. So if the resellers don't get it and you don't have it in your hands, you are going to pay at least 1400 after the resellers get their hands on it. Just being honest, because those pieces are hard to come by and they're very limited, especially if you're a big boy like myself. Yeah, if you got a hot eight cents to the side somewhere and you want that jacket, just go to the site and get it before the resellers do because they're going to mark it up at least about four to five to six hundred dollars. So go ahead and spend the money. Go ahead and have it at your house and have that box, the Ralph Lauren sing it. Uh, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want nobody to feel like I'm going into work because that's definitely not the case. You know, I just want to. You know, take a little time off and also, you know, just get a little things in uh, perspective as far as my life, um, health as well. I'm trying to get myself back on the right track. <laughs> so, you know, stay tuned to that that situation. Um, and also just being on a positive level and positive note, you know, I know it's a lot of people, with a lot of negative, um, a lot of negative talk or thoughts in their lives, and I'm not all about that. I'm all about positivity. If you can't bring nothing positive to the table, I don't need you, you know what I mean? And I'm here to be positive for everybody in life, you know? Um, I always, if for every situation you come across, it's gonna be some something to gain out of it. You know, something, something that you can implement in your life on a positive level to get you through whatever trials and tribulations you may run across. So, with that being said, I'd like to say hi to my subscribers, my new subscribers. Thank you for coming to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. For all of those who already been here, you already know the vibe. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. We almost up to 600 subscribers, so I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We trying to take over the world, get about a couple hundred thousand <laughs> for those who like fashion. Also, positivity. I like Ralph, and we like Ralph together, and we, hey, we cool. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so that's going to be about it, but I want to tap in and touch base with all my people, all of my Ralph Lauren heads, you know, out there, Polo heads, the lows, the bros, you already know two L's up, that's how we doing it, and uh, yeah, just speaking on positivity, so with that being said, thank you, and have a blessed day and a great weekend, and be prepared for an adventurous work week with positivity and a lot to gain, so with that being said, salute and have a blessed night.